Hey everyone, today we are here at Conference Science and we have the CTO of Fintopia. Uh, so I would like to know like uh, what is Fintopia and about his journey into the Web3 space. Okay, Fintopia, it's a CDFI solution, means it's kind of CFI and DeFi, custodial and non-custodial wallets with our own fiat on ramp solution, swap solution, which allows user easily go from like fiat to crypto, crypto to fiat, and vice versa. We are in Telegram mini app, in iOS, Android, web, four platforms. And my journey in Web3 came when I start mining the Ethereum, then I try to sell Ethereum that I was mined, and I have to go deeper and deeper. Then I'll join Binance. I work in Binance for three years. I was participating in iOS application development, uh, take care of fiat channels. So, and also I'll go deeper to DeFi, Web3, and make my own tokens, exchanges, Cross, cross chain protocols and now I grow to be a CTO. Ah, amazing. So uh, you mentioned about the Ethereum mining. So when you first start working into this space, into the Web3 space? I started working in 2020. 2020? Yeah, yeah. It was the early, early, early stage of BNB chain and it's mm. called Binance BSK chain, Binance Smart Chain. Mm. And uh, I was, it was my own investigation. I tried to stay far, exchange token, participate in airdrops, do everything related to Web3 and try to dive deeper and deeper. I saw a lot of hacks. I tried to recover my funds using emergency withdrawal. So I'm quite a technical guy yeah. who, who, uh, who is really deeper in Web3. So you can ask more deeper and deeper questions. <laughs> sure. So um, uh, I would like to know, like, what is your biggest learning into the Web3 space? The biggest learning that you, the bigger yields uh, uh, connected with higher risks. And my learning is how to a little bit reduce uh, the yields with the huge reduction of risks. And this balancing, you have always to balance, but to find your own way with a lower risk, higher yields, it's, it's the way. And you always have to take care about risks, at least to analyze and predict what risks are. A lot of people like to ape in. They just heard about the coin, a protocol, and put their money here. So you have to avoid it, do your own research, find all the risks, and and contribute them means apply the risk that you say okay i know that risk may happen i i press button put my money here i'm going to have yields but i'm okay with it uh, i have a question like um, uh, in the web3 space in our crypto space uh, we talk about energy consumption we talk about uh, we move from proof of work to proof of stake uh, just because of for the lower gas fees for the lower energy consumption but now we are moving towards the AI and AI also taking a huge energy like the computing power over there and everyone is moving towards the deep in AI defy AI so what is your take over there like how it's going to be evolved actually I like the, the, that we focus on energy consumption I like proof of stake with slashing for people who want to do something bad they have to be slashed about ai and crypto i'm not so enthusiastic about it i saw a lot of ai again agents who just check the mood of some token and write some tweets that i'm going to hurt i'm going to contribute suicide so it hurts it's not about true ai it's mm. it's about not a fair of the founders who are going to manipulate of people and ask them to buy token to support their agent. It's not fair. If we speak about true artificial intelligence, of course we have to spend a lot of energy on computational power to, to allow the models to uh, contain more knowledge, more coefficients, to be more official. But maybe later it will be connected in crypto. Why is I, I speaking about it? AI, in my opinion, can already uh, 
check, for example, the Bitcoin USDT uh, quotation and predict the price going. Yeah. But it wasn't happening at all because uh, still it, it's under manipulation, uh, market manipulation, I mean, and AI can't predict this manipulation. That's why it will happen that AI will be close to crypto, but not nowadays. Now, now it's only manipulation of people who want to, to earn money with meme coins. Mm. Amazing. So my last question is for Fintopia. Uh, is there anything would you like to share about uh, any future updates? Any what if something is cooking up? I would like to share. Yes, we cooking a lot of interesting features. And one feature which which we already uh, like try to present. It's allowing to send crypto without knowing personal details of uh, <laughs> of uh, sender receiver mean i don't know the your wallet but i can send you crypto in telegram it was already built and not uh, that join in top as a wallet you can do send crypto in command line in like when you chat you can mention Fintopia and send, for example, one USDT, it will be sent. Even if you don't have Fintopia wallet, it will be kind of voucher where you put your crypto and the receiver then grab your crypto. And now a new feature that we're baking, it's sending crypto using Twitter name or WhatsApp okay. number or something not related to crypto, but allow, allow you to receive at least tips, for example. By using the username, we can username send. or telephone number without like a crypt, uh, crypto without wallet. Wa we will create crypto wallet later when you try to grab this voucher and properly onboard you. But if you want to send tips to taxi driver, for example, Pakistan taxi driver, if you are Russian, you arrive to Dubai, you can't send tips because it is a cross border payment. But payment is quite small. To, to be to, to, to receive like it's under radar of regulation like just tips and then then you want to grab tips you will be properly on board it you mean you, you create a wallet and receive this money okay got it it was really amazing and thank you so much for your time and looking forward to sit with you thank you for a longer thank you. version thank you sure.